Welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about mistakes. Making mistakes is a very important part of learning and learning from our mistakes is super important. Like it's very, very important because we can make mistakes. We all make mistakes, but if the mistakes lead you to learning, then you will start to love those mistakes. Would you like to love your mistakes? Well, nobody loves them when they happen. And I was thinking of my experience with them. And I want to tell you my experience with the mistakes I've made, the biggest mistakes I've made in English. And it's true what they say that when you make that mistake, um, if it's very embarrassing when you make it, then you won't make it again. I'm going to tell you some anecdotes about the mistakes I've made. The most embarrassing mistakes I've made. Well, I learned from lots of mistakes, but especially from these ones. Uh, when we were in elementary school or primary school in Peru, we don't study English. And then when we moved to secondary school or junior high, we did have some English, but it was just a little, but I was good at it. And there was this time that we had a contest. Our teacher made a contest where you had to write some sentences. I don't remember the contest. The only thing I remember is that for the, let's say the final the final game or whatever, we had to write something and there was the doubt. There were like two teams that could be the winners. One was my team, of course. And I just had to spell correctly the word with. And it wasn't me, it was the team. So they sent me because I was so good at English. I went there and I had to spell with correctly. And the doubt came to me. With. T-H or H-T? Jesus. I didn't know. I hesitated. I, well, I just trusted myself and I spelled it the way I thought it should be spelled. And it was wrong. I was wrong. And the other team won. So I guess I don't need to say that. Never again I spelled with incorrectly. It's TH, by the way. So that was my very first mistake. I mean, the very first mistake that I noticed. So when you notice your mistakes is when they become a learning experience. Next anecdote. Okay, I finished school and I liked English, but I didn't study English. However, I watched TV in English, so I liked English and sometimes I even wrote some things in English because, I don't know, that's the way I am. And I started, uh, I sometimes wrote like a journal and I wrote some things in English. Afterwards, maybe one or two years later, I was you know, glancing at my book, at my journal, and I read what I had written and I made a terrible mistake. I don't remember exactly the sentence, but it was with the word say. I put something like, she said me that I should whatever. <gasps> and when I read it, I was like, oh my God, that's like a basic mistake. I, <laughs> that's like, no, I no no. This she told me, no, she said me, and of course I already knew that, but I, I realized that I had written wrong when I was writing before, and that was a mistake I could notice. Why could I notice that mistake? Because it was written. If it hadn't been written, it would have been impossible for me to know that I had been doing it wrong. Anyways. That's my second anecdote. Not so embarrassing. It was it was very embarrassing, like but only for myself. Nobody else shared that. But for this third experience, yeah, there was embarrassment. This was also uh, writing, but this time it was texting. I had a friend who spoke English a little. I spoke English a little. Just I hadn't really studied much English. No, by that time I hadn't started studying English, but uh, sometimes I wrote some phrases in English because I watch TV, I watch sitcoms, you know, Friends, that's how to show. So I was texting 
one day with his friend and I don't remember what, what he asked, but I answer, I don't think so, which is a, a phrase in English that is very natural, it's pretty cool, I like it, still do, and um, he just made fun of me because of that, and I was like, what's wrong with it? I mean, it's a beautiful phrase, and it's perfect English, but it turned out that it wasn't perfect English. I had spelled incorrectly the verb think. I spelled thing, T-H-I-N-G, instead of think, T-H-I-N-K. That was so, so embarrassing. <laughs> um, needless to say, I never again misspelled thing for think. The next mistake I made was also written. It was when I was studying, I was an advanced student already. One day I was checking one of the essays I had written and I had made a terrible mistake. That mistake was in the use of the simple past. I didn't bought or I didn't wrote. And that's a mistake you yeah, I shouldn't have made. I made it in advanced writing. That was very embarrassing also. Because the teacher read that. Anyways, that made me realize that I could make that mistake. I wasn't aware that I was making that mistake. And I hope I haven't done it since then. I do it, but I'm more conscious about that. And the final two I'm going to tell you are the most embarrassing ones. Because they happened when I was a teacher already. Yeah. And they both happened in pronunciation. They were so embarrassing. Really. Okay. The first one. I made this mistake when I was uh, getting ready to teach and we had to make a class for children, for the other teachers to see, for the supervisors to see, for everybody to see, like all teachers. Well, I prepared my class. It was about parts of the body. I thought that I had done like a perfect class, that it was really good. That's what I thought. And I got really good feedback, except for one thing. Probably the most embarrassing thing in my life. That's very, very embarrassing. I mispronounced a verb. A common verb. An important verb. I won't go on the reasons why I mispronounced it. Although I would love to explain it to you. And justify my actions. But it doesn't matter. Point is that I pronounced a verb very, very badly. I had feedback. Oh, Geraldine, your class was very nice. Just check your pronunciation for this verb that you use. The verb is T-O-U-C-H. And in my mind, in my brain, for some reason, the pronunciation was touch. That is not the pronunciation. Pronunciation is touch. It's not just that I pronounced touch. No, it's not just that. It's that I used the word like a hundred times in my class because it was about parts of the body, you know? So I would be like, children, Touch your head, touch your nose, touch your knees. I, I, I repeated that word a million times. I repeated that word so many times incorrectly in front of all of the teachers. And well, that was the last time I pronounced that incorrectly. But I had to learn and I did learn from that mistake. Very, very extremely embarrassing mistake. My last but not least experience happened in the teacher's room. I was there and you know the teachers, teachers were there and then it was late I had to go so I, I just said I'm leaving. Like I'm leaving or something like that. Like very natural of me and what teacher totally made fun of me. Well, thank God he said it. He, 
He said, what? You're leaving? Uh, I was like, yeah. well, what, what, what did I say incorrectly? Ah, no. Uh, so, at that moment, I realized that I had to be very careful with B and V. And also with E and A. If I was living or leaving or living, which I don't know if it's a word. Again, that helped me see that it's very important to pronounce the V correctly. Other oh, just one more. Being a teacher, also, there was this American teacher, native English speaker. And whatever, he was fun. And one day we were talking and he said something about how um, there aren't educated people here for something or whatever. He was just complaining about us. But he said that. I don't know how there are not educated people here. And I was like, outraged, you know? That was, hey, wh what are you saying? I am an educated people. And he totally laughed at me again. And he was like, you are an educated people? You mean you are an educated person? Well, by not speaking correctly, probably I was showing how uneducated I was. But I mean, I never made that mistake for some people again. But something like that had to happen for me not to make it again. And I'm sure I make lots of mistakes and I make mistakes all the time when I'm making these videos. Uh, but I don't see them all. But the ones I see, I can learn from. So that's why you shouldn't be afraid of talking to other people. And especially you shouldn't be afraid if they point out mistakes that you don't know about, that you're not aware of. That is going to help your tones. It is embarrassing. Yes, a little, <laughs> a lot. It is embarrassing, but man, lots of things are embarrassing in life. So just deal with it and move on and learn. And next time you won't make that mistake. And that's it. Uh, take it as a positive thing. It, we really shouldn't feel embarrassed because we're learning, but it's a pride. Yes, just we have to be a little bit more humble because we're learning a language. So we're learning a language. They should respect us. If they make fun of us, well, we should just learn from it and just laugh at ourselves too because it's fun and funny to learn. That's today's video. Learn from your mistakes. I learned and I keep learning and you should too. I hope you do too. What are some mistakes you have learned from? Were they embarrassing? Were they written, oral, in front of people, in front of a mirror? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, share, and see you soon.